In this video, we will cover the design production panel on your A15 control panel. Once I've finished setting my design color sequence, I can move on to my design production panel. Once I'm here, I need to confirm my design onto the screen using the red icon in the lower left hand corner. I will tap this icon one time, and then it will ask me to confirm embroidery, and I'll tap the check mark. Once I do this, Screen is going to pop up asking me to select which hoop I am using for this design. Your machine is going to come preloaded with these six hoop options. So once I select the hoop that I am using, I will tap the check mark and the machine will automatically center itself in that hoop. It will then bring me to my main frame select screen. On the right side of this screen, I have four directional keys that I can use to position my hoop left or right, up or down, depending on where I need it to be positioned. I have two frame speeds that I can move this at. The two arrows in the middle tell me that I am on fast frame movement, and if I tap it one time, it will change to one arrow, telling me that I am on slow frame movement. If I need to select a different hoop other than the one I have already selected, I will tap the frame icon on the left hand side, and select the hoop that I'd like to choose from the options presented earlier. To return back to my main frame select screen, I will tap the arrow going out the door. Once I have positioned my hoop somewhere other than center, if I need to return back to the center point of that hoop, I will tap the four arrows in the red box and the machine will automatically position itself back at the center point of that hoop. The finger icon is where you'll find frame parameters used for the frame select feature. Please do not enter these settings or attempt to adjust any of them unless you are on the phone with a Mesa support technician. Below that, you will find our trace functions. You have two trace functions to use when ensuring that the hoop is not going to be struck by the needle during production. The needle with the stitched box outline is your border check, and the needle with the oval outline is your outline check. If I need to position my hoop somewhere other than center, again I'll use those four directional keys. And if I'd like to save that offset point for future reference when I'm running this design again, I can tap the compass with the floppy disk icon and the machine will save that point. Say I move the hoop off of that position, but need to return back to the position that I had just saved, I will tap the compass with the circular arrow to return back to that saved position. To return back to my design production screen, I will tap the check mark, and we will now see our design in the upper portion of this screen. You'll notice that this design is all gray currently, simply because we have not started sewing the design. Once we begin sewing, the machine will color in our design, showing us the progress that we've made in real time. On the upper right hand corner of this screen, we have our needle position. We have a needle with the number one up there currently telling us that needle number one is currently in sewing position or needle number one is currently over the needle plate. Below that, we have our design color sequence displayed telling us which needle it is going to use when we begin sewing as well as the needles that will follow and in which order they will follow. In the middle of this screen, we have different data about the design that we are currently using. It tells us the name of the file. And then in the middle, you have a spool of thread where it tells you how many color changes are in this design. This design has seven color changes. And this tells us that we are, when we begin sewing the design, the machine will be on the first of seven color changes. Below that, you have a stitch counter showing you how many stitches in total are in the design, as well as how many the machine has done in real time once we begin sewing. 
Over on the right hand side, you have a clock with an estimated time of completion. Below that, you have t shirts with a number next to them showing you how many runs of this design you have done, which is helpful when completing large orders where you would have to count all the time to see how many hats or how many shirts you've completed. In the bottom portion of our screen, we have our four directional keys again, allowing us to position the frame where we need it. And then on the left hand side, we have our scissors icon, which will allow us in the middle of a design to tap our stop button and then tap the scissors icon to trim the thread to remove the fabric from the machine if needed. Once we tap our scissors icon, and it gives us two options for trimming. We can either trim both the top and bottom thread, or we can just trim the bottom thread, which is helpful when needing to replace a bobbin or uh, oil your rotary hook. To exit this screen, we'll tap the arrow going out the door. Next to the scissors icon, you have your 100 degree icon, which allows you to return the machine back to its resting position, which we will cover in a future video. Below the 100 degree icon, we have our color change mode icon. This machine has two color change modes. Right now, we are in fully automatic color change mode, as seen with the letter A. What this means is that when the machine gets to a color change, the machine will stop sewing, it will trim, move to the next needle, and begin sewing all on its own. The second color change mode is manual mode. Manual mode, when the machine gets to a color change, manual mode will have the machine stop sewing and trim, but then you as the operator will need to move the machine to a new needle and then tap the start button to continue sewing. To move the machine manually to a new needle, we will use the three needles in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Once I tap this icon, a window will pop up asking me to choose which needle I'd like to move it to. Once I tap that needle, the machine will automatically position itself. I can then tap the arrow going out the door to return back to my design production panel. Next to our color change mode icon, we have our frame select icon again, which brings us to the screen, which we covered earlier. To return back to our design production panel, I will tap the check mark. Towards the bottom of your screen, we have our speed, which is noted in stitches per minute. This machine has the ability to sew up to 1000 stitches per minute and I can adjust it either up or down using the plus and minus icons. When sewing basic flat material, such as t-shirts, polos, or button-ups, the recommended speed to sew at is around 800 stitches per minute. When sewing on thicker material, such as jackets, or heavy blankets, or caps, we recommend sewing anywhere from 600 to 700 stitches per minute. When you're running production, thread breaks happen from time to time. When a thread break happens, the machine is going to take a few stitches before it recognizes that it has a thread break, leading you to skip some stitches in your design. When this happens, after you thread the needle again, you'll need to back up stitches to compensate for what you missed. To back up stitches or move forward stitches, we will use the needle with the plus and minus icon. And in this icon, we can float forwards or backwards, fast or slow, depending on how far we need to go. We can move forward or backwards one stitch at a time, move forward or backwards 10 stitches at a time, or move forward or backwards 100 stitches at a time. If you'd like to float forward to the next color change, or float backwards to the beginning of the last color change, you can use the spool of thread and the arrow with the plus or minus. To move back to the start point of this design, use the needle pointing to the zero. And to move back to the stop point of this design, use the needle pointing to the end. We'll tap the arrow going out the door to return back to our home screen. 
The last two icons here on the bottom of our design production panel contain uh, machine parameters and machine settings that should only be used uh, or adjusted when on the phone with a Mesa support technician.